Slava Bogu, brati i sestre. I want to open up uh, the book of Luke, chapter 10. Uh, and uh, I'm just going to read verses 25 through 37. <clears throat> and it's written as follows. Uh, and behold, a certain lawyer stood up and tested him, saying, Teacher, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? He said to him, What is written in the law? What is your reading of it? So he answered and said, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. And he said to him, You have answered rightly. Do this, and you will live. But he, wanting to justify himself, said to Jesus, And who is my neighbor? Then Jesus answered and said, A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among thieves who stripped him of his clothing, wounded him, and departed, leaving him half dead. Now by chance a certain priest came down that road. And when he saw that, he passed by on the other side. Likewise, a Levite, when he arrived at the place, came and looked and passed by on the other side. But when a Samaritan, as he journeyed, came where he was, he, and when he saw him, he had compassion. So he went to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring in oil and wine, and he set him on his own animal, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. On the next day when he departed, he took out two denarii, giving them, gave them to the innkeeper and said to him, Take care of him, and whatever you spend, more you spend, when I come again, I will repay you. So which of these three do you think was neighbor to him who fell among the thieves? And he said, He who showed mercy on him. Then Jesus said to him, Go and do likewise. Uh, and this morning, uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about um, this dialogue that Jesus had with this lawyer. І в цьому ранку порозмірковувати про діалог, який мав Ісус із цим законником. We just read uh, what is called a parable in the Bible. Ми зачитали, що називається притчою в Біблії. And oftentimes this was a tool that Jesus used to help people understand what he's saying. І це був спосіб, який використовував Ісус, щоб вони зрозуміли, про що він говорить. Uh, if you look across the Gospels, and you look at the parallel parables that are written on each. Uh, in the New Testament, there are 41 parables that are written. These examples, these stories that Jesus used so that people would understand his point. In a very simple story, he can open up the depths in which he was speaking. To, to in a way, unveil the mysteries of God. And we read uh, maybe the most known parable. Uh, it has since been renamed the parable of the Good Samaritan. Uh, and this parable is not widely, not just widely known in the body of Christ. <laughs> but often time the world references this parable exactly. Uh, the the uh, calling somebody a good Samaritan. It has a meaning even outside of the church. Uh, and this meaning, this, this being of a good Samaritan, uh, the message of this parable has been simplified to the following. Simply meaning do good to others. Uh, when you see somebody in need like this man, be like that Samaritan who stopped and helped him. Uh, this is the... The simplified message that this parable is often spoken about. And because of this, oftentimes, uh, we see around us there are uh, organizations that are designed to help people. Uh, uh, in English, they're called charities. And if you go uh, onto the internet and you look, and you type in uh, the name Samaritan and a charity organization, there's going to be a long list of these organizations that named themselves after this parable. Uh, one example is uh, a uh, organization that we all partake in every year. Uh, 
uh, the Christmas shoe boxes that we get together. This Christian organization is called Samaritan's Purse. Again, referencing this parable here. Uh, and the message oftentimes is to help others. And I want you to understand me correctly. That I'm not saying this is not something that we're not called to do. Uh, as Christians, as followers of Christ, he calls us to do exactly this. It's written, uh, and Jesus said, um, what you do for the least of these, you, always, you also do for me. This is also a commandment that we have on ourselves. But this parable, when we look at the context, it's much deeper than simply than just a call to help others. And because our time is running out, we'll quickly go through this. We see that um, a certain lawyer, uh, a man who knew, a man who knew the Old Testament law, is testing Jesus. We can say uh, a little, a few verses below, it shows us the intention that this man had. That this question wasn't, uh, you could say, in good faith. But he was testing Jesus. And he's asking, how do I get eternal life? And Jesus responds. And Jesus says, what does the law say? And in verse 27, it, uh, this man answers. And he shows that he knew the Old Testament law very well. He summed up the entire Old Testament into these two commandments. <laughs> Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, all your strength, with all your mind. That was the first. And the second was love your neighbor as yourself. And Matthew, the parallel passage for this, is speaking of the two greatest commandments. And we see that Jesus responds to him in verse 28. He says, you've answered rightly. This is the right answer to your question. If you do this, you will live. But we see that the response reveals more about this lawyer, reveals the heart of him. If we uh, put up verse 29, Luke 10. It's written, but he wanting to justify himself said to Jesus, and who is my neighbor? As if to say that the first commandment that I just said to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your strength, I have that one covered. What's next? Uh, you say, love my neighbor as myself. <clears throat> the importance for me is who falls into that category. He completely skipped over the first commandment that he was called to do. And he, he disregarded the type of love that Jesus was actually calling him to have. Not understanding the depths of that love. And this is when Jesus goes into the parable. Jesus is revealing to this man the love that is required to fulfill these two commandments. He is showing this man how short he falls of attaining that love. And I won't reread it, but we see that Jesus speaks of a man who, who was in a very uh, difficult condition. By no fault of his own, he was left by the side of the road almost dying without anything. Uh, and uh, if you look deeper into this, par uh, into this parable, if you have time at home to, to look into why Jesus used the certain symbols that he did, 
порозмірковувати, чому Ісус використовував ті символи, які він використав. For example, uh, why did Jesus use the, the road from Jerusalem to Jericho? Ісус він вживає дорогу від Єрусалиму в Єрихон. There are some very uh, interesting details that uh, we may learn. Є цікаві деталі, які ми можемо дізнатися. But today I wanted to focus on what Jesus was trying to reveal to this man about the love that was required. Але що Ісус говорив до цього чоловіка про любов, яку він повинен був мати? There's a man who's in a difficult circumstance. He can't help himself. And he's laying on the side of the road. And we see that there's in this parable there's three people that pass that that are characters in this parable. The first is a priest. <coughs> who uh, may have been a, a representation of the religious leadership at the time. And the second was a Levite, which we also know who did a lot and worked in the, in the temple. And we see that both of these passed him by. But we see that a Samaritan is the one that stops and helps this man. In the significance of a Samaritan being the one is that the Samaritans and the Jewish people, they were enemies Uh, to simply put enemies to one another. Uh, history uh, talks a little bit about why this happened. But the point is that the Samaritan in this parable was an enemy to the man who was laying on the side of the road. And using these two men Now Jesus is beginning to reveal the type of love that is required to fulfill those commandments. This isn't simply just a call to help him. But it's revealing how what type of love is needed. The first, this man stopped for an enemy. He gave away his time. Він пожертвував свій час. He gave away his possessions. Він віддав свої свої маєтки. It's written that it says he poured his oil and wine on his wounds to help him. Він вино і оливу вилив на його рани. He set him on his own donkey. І на власну осла він посадив його. And uh, I would I would assume that um, in this parable this man was walking now instead of riding on his his donkey. Я думаю, і цей чоловік він він шов It is written an animal, but um, we will assume it was a donkey. <coughs> And we see that he takes him to an inn, pays his own money so that this man could have somewhere to recover, even up until this point, all of these things that he did for an enemy We may think in our hearts, Lord, how can I do this? How can I be like this man? But it doesn't stop there. The, the last piece, I think, uh, reveals how great this love Jesus is trying to reveal is. It's written in verse 35 of the same chapter. This man says to the innkeeper, Take care of him and whatever more you spend when I come again I will repay you. This man was leaving himself completely vulnerable for an enemy. What do I mean by that? This man didn't say, here's an additional five denarii and take care of him. He said, take care of him and whatever the cost is, I will come back and I will pay you. There was no limit on the love that this man showed for that Uh, for that man on the side of the road. And in ancient Rome, a denarius, it was the wages for one day's work. So we can imagine if, let's say, this, this innkeeper needed two, three, four hundred more denarii to take care of this man. Можливо, цей господар йому треба було 
200-300 denarii, щоб опікуватися цим чоловіком. This Samaritan is signing up to pay all that back. І Самаринин погоджується все це відплатити. He is saying, whatever it is, I will repay you. І каже, що це б не стало, я буду відплачу. To maybe work for years and years for an enemy. Я буду працювати рік за роком, можливо, задля ворога. To pay off a debt for an enemy. Щоб відплатити борг заради ворога. And this is the love that Jesus was talking about. Jesus was saying, if this is the love that you think you have covered, then go and do likewise and you'll have eternal life. And he asks that final question. He says, who was his neighbor to him? And the lawyer responds, і відповідає цей законник the one who showed mercy on him той хто змилувався над ним this parable is much deeper than simply a call to help others тому то ця прища вона йде глибше ніж прямо допомагати it is it is a call for not just this man це заклик не тільки для цього чоловіка but for each one of us але для кожного із нас to understand how short we fall of the love that god God uh, is calling us to give. We and our own strength and our own understanding would not be able to do this. Without the love of Jesus in our heart, these two commandments we could not even come close to fulfilling. Through our actions, through our words, through anything that we do, we could not fulfill the love that Jesus is uh, speaking of here. But I have good news for us this morning. Even though we're not standing here face to face to Jesus like this man was. But he is in this place this morning. He is ready to enter into every heart that is desiring that love він готовий прийти, зайти в кожне серце, яке бажає мати цю любов. That original question of who is my neighbor? І це питання перше, де сказано, хто є мій ближній? Was the wrong question to ask. Це було неправильне запитання. The question is isn't who is my neighbor? Питання не є в тому, хто є мій ближній. But am I being a neighbor to those around me? Але чи я є ближнім для тих, хто є навколо мене? Do I have that love for those around me that Jesus is calling me to to have? Чи я маю ту любов для інших, про яку говорить Ісус? In this morning when we pray, I want to call us to a sincere prayer to Jesus. І тому будемо молитися щедро до для до Ісуса, that he would give us that love in our hearts that we can't find on our own. Щоб він нам дав цю любов the one man who was on this earth who, who was here only because he loved us who took our sins upon himself and he showed and he's the one man who showed this, this uh, love And this morning, I want us to um, to pray to bow our hearts before Him. Because He is here in this place. And He has those fresh fountains of love ready to pour out on each one of us. And I want to call each one of us to open our hearts, to call to Him. And to ask Him to reveal that love to us. That we may love our neighbors in this way, but more importantly, love God in the way that the scripture calls us to. Let us pray. Amen.